Hey everybody, welcome back to the Rat Shack. We're going to start a new uh, video series on vacuum. And we're going to start with the peripherals, the accessories, stuff like that. And uh, what I have here is my field kit, my vacuum field kit. Now, as you can see, it's uh, stored in a military surplus box. This is actually an NVG box. And uh, good hard stuff, kind of like a Pelican, uh, but different. O-ring sealed, you know, all that jazz. Got foam in there little air relief valve just in case you have to take it on an airplane and inside the magical vacuum box we have uh, first thing is the vacuum gauge right there stows in its own little cutout uh, you can see I got a little square detent down in here that's where the hook is that's square because it used to hold my Supco vacuum gauge but now I have the blue vac so to make around Fits down in there, nice and snug, doesn't get beat around. On the uh, on the other side, I have uh, stuff. So here's a funnel. Yeah, I use it for uh, draining and filling oil in my pump. This little piece of foam here is uh, just to keep everything nice and tight. When the lid closes, it presses on it and holds it in there. Got a rag in the bottom for uh, wiping the oil out. Plus, it catches it and uh, wiping it off my pump and stuff. Have uh, here we have. This is actually a bottle of vacuum pump oil. You can see I have it in my old uh, OptiFree contact lens solution uh, container. Works good. Nice tight seal. Stick it in there. And I uh, also have Nylog that, uh, that I carry. I don't have any with me, but it goes in there too. If I, don't, if I, if I have it, it's in there. And the vacuum pump oil isn't. Uh, a couple of extra fittings for the pump. This is a half inch flare to three eighths flare adapter. This is a three eighths flare to quarter inch flare adapter. And uh, this way I can uh, change the pump around to uh, suit the task at hand if I need to. Inside the box, you can see here I got uh, some uh, solder in valve pores, I got a new CND. Various hoses with valve attachments for pulling vacuums. Here's a JB environmental series. This is a, uh, actually not part of their vacuum line. That one ain't. Uh, some of these in here are different things. This is a busted uh, coupling nut fitting off the pump, off one of my JB pumps. Various access fittings and uh, you know, for whatever reason, if I need a coupler. These are the uh, core removers that I use. These are the Appion VCRT. Get a closer look at her there. And uh, everybody talks about them, likes them. I like them. The only ones that are have a published rating of 20 microns. They have uh, the valve handle is is real nice, and and uh, you know when you use this and you close this handle off, it's got a real nice positive detent where it stops and locks in. Of course, the uh, plunger here comes out like so. Vacuum O-rings in there. The coupler O-rings, two O-rings in there. The bottom one's bigger than the upper one, and. Uh, that are a pain to get in and out or get back in especially if you blow them out and I'll show you what I do here in a minute uh, aircraft grade aluminum cap here with a special gasket down in there now nah, you can't see it but it's not a regular o-ring made for vacuum again the only one I know of that has published numbers of 20 microns rated for 20 micron vacuum so if you've ever uh, lost the O-rings out of your VCRT, especially Appion, you know what a pain in the butt they can be to get back in. Or if you just need to change them, the new ones are a pain in the butt to get back in. And what I did is I took some teeny tiny welding rods, like 316 or something like that, uh, less than that, and uh, made me a couple of little picks. You can see that one's kind of got a, a little... Uh, Kind of foot sticking out there it's flat on this edge and then this one is more flat more like a spade pick all the way around and then i got a little 90 degree deal on there 
and uh, even with these it's still easier to chuck the valve body the VCRT valve body up in a, in a small bench vise and use these to get the uh, o-rings in and out because they're just a pain to get out they blow out real easy under pressure but they're a pain to get back in but it's a necessary evil world we live in so I made some picks that's how it is um, so really that's it on the vacuum kit nothing special except how I carry it same stuff y'all use I'm sure everything fits in here nice and tight put this back like so put this back like so everything goes in here gets closed up this area here nothing spills out keeps everything nice and quiet protected and uh, just good man so like I said military surplus o-ring sealed weatherproof dirt proof dust proof and uh, cheap I think I paid 10 bucks for these and I use them for all kinds of stuff so get online see if you can find them get yourself a kit put together I recommend even if you don't use this box get something uh, that you can keep everything together in like I said when I get ready to recover this comes out uh, I know I'm gonna have to get it out anyway it's got stuff in here I use for recovery as well so uh, I pull it out do my recovery do whatever I need to do as far as, far as repairs and then uh, when I get ready to pull the vacuum I have everything I need here um, I also use my recovery machine for flushing and purging uh, instead of nitrogen so it just works the whole thing works together it's a good kit so stay tuned we're gonna do a uh, So stay tuned, we're gonna do a couple of reviews on the Blue Vac that you got there. The new Blue Vac from AccuTools. Very cool. As well as the this is the DS220, digital scale 220 from AccuTools. Actually, this is the charging manifold or charging uh, foot. The uh, actual scale is in here. Ta-da! Pretty cool little scale. And uh, we're going to go through some of the programmable features and things like that. So look for them. We'll post this video up next and then we'll post a scale video and then we'll post some blue back videos. And when I get the rest of my equipment in from Appion, we'll post those videos. So see you on the next one. Later!